All right, hey guys. Um, I'm not ridiculously pumped up today. Um, I actually just got in from work a little while ago and I've been kind of doing some chores and stuff. But I wanted to do a quick uh, recap video. Uh, I've done a lot of individual pomade reviews on my channel over the years. Um, and I just wanted to kind of go into my current stash of pomades and just do a quick and dirty run through of my thoughts on them now that I've used all of them for a while. So uh, the first ones I'm going to start with are Lone Star Slick. Um, I like these guys a lot. I'm a big fan of um, a couple of their pomades. This one in particular, the Dead Elvis, this is like their super hard super heavy it's like a rock it's too hard so just for that one that's my first one um, it smells okay as i recall no, actually it doesn't smell that this one doesn't smell that great it smells a little like medicine so it doesn't even have that going for it it's just too hard it i had to dig it out of the can with my thumbnail and even that was not easy and then it was really hard to emulsify in the hand. I guess if you have crazy thick hair and you don't mind working that hard, this might be an option for you. For me, it's a no-go. It's going in the trash. Now, on the other hand, their Black Cat Pomade, this might be, of the pomades I've tried from them, this might be the ideal one for me and for my hair where I am now. It's a medium, uh, probably a medium maybe medium heavy hold uh, it does provide a little bit of shine not much it's mostly a matte finish as it says on here uh, the scent is not bad it's actually it's much better than the dead elvis it's not bad it smells a little waxy uh, nothing to write home about in the fragrance department but it does emulsify well and it does hold pretty well and sometimes you'll get a little bit even though it's uh, these guys are kind of their thing is using healthier ingredients to create traditional vintage style pomades so no mineral oil no petrolatum stuff like that and it does perform quite a lot like an old school pomade so i will give them that this one in particular um, now that brings me to the uh, the last one I have from them, which is their Lone Star Slick. Um, I'm going to have to tilt the camera down for you uh, to see this. So, sorry, it's tipping over on me. If you look down in, actually it's pouring out. If you look down in here, you can see there's like a pool of oil in the can. So whatever their formula is for this. And it's a, a decent uh, Brillantine soft style pomade. In fact, it's a little firmer than, um, than like a Royal Crown or, um, you know, one of those type of Brillantines. But it's just too oily and whatever their formula is does not contain the oil. It seems to kind of separate out so you get things like what just happened, it, it kind of poured out, or sometimes it sits in my drawer and I think it kind of oozes or something. I don't know, because the can, you know, I'll take the can out weeks later and it's all oily on the outside and it didn't go in the drawer that way. So I don't know if it's, I don't know. It works great in the hair. Uh, it goes in a little bit oily. I don't use a lot of it, but it does condition the hair well. Um, smells good um this has kind of a a powdery barbershop scent to it um so not bad but you know you just kind of have that oil factor in. um this one here um shea, shea moisture men argan oil and shea butter waves pomade this is a it's kind of an African-American uh, product, but it works great. It smells pretty good. Uh, it's got good ingredients. There's no, um, 
it's kind of a beeswax, calendula wax, coconut oil based type thing, um, carnauba wax. It's got a lot of natural, healthy ingredients, uh, no, no petroleum, no mineral oil. So really good quality stuff in this. It's, uh, it's on the softer side, but it kind of gives like a medium, I'd say a, a decent medium hold. Um, and a little goes a long way. Uh, and the stuff in here, the argan oil and shea butter alone is great for your hair. But there's some other really good things in there like tea tree oil and stuff. Um, highly recommend this. This is a go-to. I'm going to get some more of this for sure. Um, now the remainder of, oh wait, no, I got I to gotta talk about this. <laughs> got to talk about this one. So I've already used up a couple of jars of this. And... I don't usually go through pomades that quickly and use stuff up, but this is so good, I couldn't help it. There's there's just, the, the scent is incredible. Uh, a little goes a long way. If you have like, if you have requirements for super heavy hold, you have like a high pompadour, um, you need to get vertical, you need strong hold, you know, thick, uh, contentious hair this may not be the best thing for you uh, if you have hair that's on the finer side or that's straighter that kind of lays down pretty well performs pretty well and you're not looking for crazy height you just want some conditioning some good hold you know you want it to look nice without being greasy this is your product uh, it's really really well made stuff they have great formulas uh, it's not uh, too soft or too hard minimal ingredients Real basic, uh, real natural. I really, really like them. They have fantastic masculine scents. Um, I've already reviewed the original. I'm gonna review uh, the rugged scent uh, in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, now, I've talked a lot about uh, the soaps from Duke Cannon. I'm gonna talk about a couple of their, I guess you'd call these water-based, new school, uh, pomades. Uh, one is their News Anchor Fiber Pomade, which I'll just open this up. That's what's left of it. <laughs> so I'll let you kind of figure out if maybe I like it or not. It's pretty good. Um, now, a close second is this Hurric Hurricane Hold News Anchor Pomade. It's a little bit different consistency. It's a little softer. But it works pretty good too. Um, and if you want something that's going to give you some decent hold and performance and you don't really care about that, that kind of wet look, uh, you just kind of want some dry hold uh, to kind of keep your hair in place and keep the flyaways under control and stuff or just kind of keep your style set and not really moving too much, it's not going to make it stiff. Uh, but it is going to kind of give it a, a nice, firm, soft, touchable hold. Um, either of these are great options. They smell pretty good. As, you know, usually the new school pomades smell like absolute crap. Um, and these guys, their scents are pretty good. So if you have to go new school, this is probably my first and best recommendation. Um, this one, I think, is a Target brand, um, Goodfellow and Company. You can find it in their men's product section. Um, this is their Blue Sage and Tonka finishing pomade. It's kind of a paste or something like that. This is pretty good. Scent is decent. Um, probably comparable to the Duke Cannon stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not using these as much anymore. I still kind of have them around and now and then I use them if I just want to throw something in my dry hair. Um, I don't like to put oil-based products in my dry hair because it can lock out moisture. Um, but I'll throw these in for an afternoon if I need to just go out and I want my hair to clean it up. And they work pretty good. Now, uh, the last one, I picked this up when I was traveling to Michigan because I needed something travel size. Um, gosh, that was back in October. Um, and, you know, this was the only travel size pomade that I could find, you know, and I was like, well, I hope it doesn't suck. Um, you know, it's not terrible. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a great scent. I used a little bit of it. It works. Um, would I buy this again? No. no. 
never buy this again, but you know, it works. So that's pretty much what I have now. I have, um, I have one other pomade here, but I'm not going to talk about it because unfortunately they support some things that I think are really not good and so I don't want to give them into my business. But, uh, and I still have these guys sitting around, but this stuff has not seen any action in well over a year or more um, and probably won't again. I just kind of keep these around for decor. I'm probably going to scoop these out and turn them into storage cans or something. I mean, I just don't use this stuff in my hair anymore. Uh, the petroleum um, and the mineral oil type stuff is really, really bad for your hair and your scalp. It can cause cancer. Uh, it can clog up your pores. It can irritate your skin. It's synthetic petroleum byproducts, and there's better stuff that you can put in your hair. I mean, I know that um, a lot of people are going to, it's just going to go in one ear and out the other because they're going to be like, yeah, but I need my whole, I need, I need to do my rocket belly pump or I need to get, I need volume. I need, I have, I have hair that's, that needs aggressive hold. I get it. I get it. I was the same way, you know, 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I was the same way. I can't do that anymore. So, and frankly, I, I make enough money now, I can afford to buy decent pomades. Um, you know, this stuff's not cheap. Uh, I forget what it is, a jar, 20, 25 bucks a jar, or something like that. But it's worth it, and it's good. And it lasts a long time. I don't go through a ton of it. Um, but it's better for, for my hair and, and my health and my body, so that's what I use. So Anyway, uh, that's a quick overview of the current stash of pomades. I know it's not crazy diverse uh, and there's nobody to blame for that but me, but I've been working a lot and I just, I've had other things going on and shopping for pomades and, um, you know, on my days off sometimes I don't put anything in my hair. Uh, I just got out of the shower and just kind of combed it back and did this video, so it's it's pretty chill right now, but um, there's some stuff in here that I definitely highly recommend, and I'll continue to bring you some more new stuff. Like I said, I have some more Johnny Slicks to review, and uh, there's a couple others that I kind of have saved uh, in some of my online vendors that I want to try, so I'm going to be doing some reviews of those in the future, too. I'm just not trying to have, like innumerable jars of pomade because I'll run out of space. So I'm just kind of buying stuff as I use things up and cycle through stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for your support. This video is a little long. I'll cut it down in the editing room. I uh, appreciate your support. If this helped you, if you like this video, please smash the like button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, both things really help my channel. They help me to get visibility on YouTube and uh, the subscribers help me to get to my eventual goal of being able to monetize at least a little bit, have a little bit of an income stream. So when I'm an old guy with no hair and no job, my body's been completely and utterly and mercilessly destroyed by years of service in x-ray in the hospital that you know I'll be able to like uh, buy my, my bottle of Geritol and my, um, I don't know, my, prune juice or something so support a brother show some love i appreciate you guys dig you later god bless